Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakah Kodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in their arm salutations to the elect men that's continually feeding the sheep of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and sincerity and the truth with this great gospel, man. Um, we got to keep this gospel going because um, wickedness don't take rest. Wickedness don't take rest. Iniquity don't take rest. This, these devils don't rest. So why the hell are we resting? Why the hell are we resting? We got to keep this word going. There's the elect needed to be. There's the elect that needs to be sealed. There's the elect that needs to be sealed. It's like um, what you want to just rest and be in this weak ass kingdom. When the Lord has greatness prepared for us. You want to be here with these weirdos? Look at this madness. It says Janella. Monet is supposed to be some um, singer, American female singer, comes out as a non-binary, non-binary, binary. I just don't see myself as a woman. This is what happened when you when um, you give women rights and um, you give women liberty, you give them rights and you give them liberty and you give them authority and you give them a, a speaking mouth. Because a woman's supposed to be not seen and not heard, man. She's supposed to be seen by her father and by her husband. Yeah, and her family members. That's it. All these women out here, man, you, you got to realize, all they're promoting to our daughters are what? Future, trying to promote our daughters and to turn them into the future traps and future whores. Right? They want to pollute the minds of our daughters, man, because um, they want to keep our nation going off. And they already know. These daughters are soon to be what the women <laughs> and you got you destroy the woman and you already know just like Satan Satan and go straight after um Adam he went after Eve because <laughs> he already knew what's man's mind whatever my wife do whatever my baby tell me I'm, I'm here for you boo I love you boo these niggas all about they women I'm read the book of um Jeremiah 6 and 15 it says where they were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed. And um, you can see these people ain't got no shame. It says Janelle Monet comes out as a non-binary. Matter of fact. Yeah, let's go to this um this non-binary. Binary. Non-binary, whatever it's called. Gender queer. Gender queer. They even have their own flag, right? Their own flag. Um, it says non-binary or gender queer is an umbrella term for gender identities that are not solely male or female. Um, the most high created man, the most high created woman. <laughs> yeah, because all this new age confusion, this new age confusion, this is a new thing out here, man. Well, it says there's nothing new under the sun. This is just the spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah magnified like a motherfucker. I'm going to read the book of Genesis 1 and 27. It says, so the most high created man in his own image. In the image of the most high created he him, male and female created he them. Yeah, male and female. There's no in between. He didn't create no man to think that he's a woman or a woman to think that he's a man. She's a man. That's that twisted new age way of thinking, man. And um, it's called, an, and that's also an abomin abomination. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to read it. It says non-binary or gender queer is an umbrella term for gender identities that are not solely male or female. Identities that are outside of gender binary. So you go down here, it says associated terms, androgyny, queer, third gender, transgender two spirit yeah yeah these people are are twisted they're they're lost they're gone they're sick their minds are polluted their minds are polluted man that's why it tells you <laughs> and we talking about you israelites man jeremiah 6 and 15 were they ashamed when they had committed abomination matter of fact let's go to this other verse right quick bear with me leviticus 18 verse 22 for you um, what um, two spirited people, you transgenders, you non binary minded people, man. This is Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind, it is an abomination. 
it is an abomination in Jeremiah 6 and 15 it says were they ashamed when they had committed an abomination nay and they were not at all ashamed neither could they blush therefore shall they fall among them that fall at the time that I visit them they shall be cast down saith Yahweh yeah, the Lord's gonna the Lord's gonna destroy these weirdos man these weirdos and their way of thinking I'm non-binary so I just don't see myself as a woman solely I feel I mean, that's how you know man she's been fucking hanging around too many crackers that's the spirit of Esau Edom you can tell when they've been hanging around Esau Edom because they spit that same rhetoric I'm Rita says I'm non I'm non-binary so I don't see myself as a woman solely I feel all I bet you get your period I bet you get your period I bet you get pregnant I feel all my energy I feel like God is so much bigger than the he or she or the she yeah she's been around in Edomites she said and if I am from God, I am everything. I am everything. But I will always, always stand with women. I will always stand with black women. But I just see everything that I am beyond the binary. Yeah, you, you've been hitting that dope. You've been around too many Edomites. <laughs> them Edomites, they, 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 they good for polluting the mind, the minds of the people. Here goes some more madness. It says trans woman says... She has every right to not date bisexual men and that dating straight men makes her feel valid. Hey, you guys out there, man, you out there thirsty in the bars, in the clubs, drunk, wounded. Guess what? You're going you gonna to fuck around me the broad who got a pull stick and two um, eight balls. Yeah, she got two eight balls and a big ass pull stick. And then you're going to fuck around and put her to death. Look at that one <laughs> dude who used to be with them. I think ISU, PK or what? One of them goofy ass Israelite camps, man, that don't teach the right doctrine. Then they get caught up for being with a transgender or something. Right? So the Lord is judging you. you this ain't no time to be playing around. This ain't no time to be amongst these wicked ass people. You see where their mind is at? A woman don't think she's a woman. A man don't think he's a man. We're in a time of what? Pure confusion. Pure confusion. And the Lord's about to judge these people. Matter of fact, you know, I got to read the book of... We got to go to the book of Jude 1 and 7. It says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah in the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Yeah, that was an example. Yeah, you were supposed to learn from Sodom and Gomorrah not to do, not to live abominable lifestyles. Yeah. You were supposed to learn because where do you think you got the word Sodom from, huh? Yeah, where do you think you got the word Sodom from? You getting that, getting that Bible? Esau, Edom, he knows about Sodomatry. He knows about Ham's, the spirit of Ham. Ham was a broke back, Ham nation, that's a broke back spirited nation too. Matter of fact, the Bible even tell you that spirit come from these other nations. Yes, sir, we, let's go to the book of Leviticus 18 verse 22. It says, Thou shall not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Verse 23. Neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereto. It is confusion. Man laying with man is confusion. Man laying with animal is confusion. Woman laying with woman is confusion. Woman laying with animal is confusion. It says, defile not ye yourselves in any of these things, for in all these the nations are defiled, which I cast out before you. That was the Hermetic Hemet nations, man. The Canaanites, right? It says, what? What? Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things, for in all these the nations are defiled, which I cast out before you. And the land is defiled, therefore I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it. And the land itself vomiteth out her inhabitants so america is going to be destroyed because america is pushing that vibration of what sodom and gomorrah america is um all for it you gotta realize america didn't cut off what um supplies to other nations and help to other nations because they wouldn't accept homosexuality they wouldn't accept the spirit what else now man you this bestiality pretty soon they're gonna be promoting that bullshit on a on a higher on a high level, in your face, in the open. 
right? Because this man, he he he's at the end, so he got to know he can he know he got a short time left, so he's about to go all out. He's about to be all out wicked, all out filthy, all out polluted. Leviticus twenty verse thirteen: If man, if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. 